Hi, it's good to be with you again. I'm Maggie Lukowski from Maggie Moon Tarot, and here are the astrology and tarot vibes for the week. We're in the midst of this hurricane tropical storm Matthew, so I'm hoping to make it before the power goes out. Um, so this week we have a mixed bag in the celestial realm. So think, feel, and take action on what brings you joy. You can navigate through any bumpy rides. The moon is in Aquarius as we start our week, so it's a good time to socialize, listen to your soul yearning. Mercury conjuncts Jupiter under the Libra sun on the 11th, and this day has great possibilities and charm. And negotiations can be very successful, so do take advantage of this day's blessing. And then on the 11th, Mars sextiles Neptune, a great day to go forward on creative ideas as Mars gives our ideas that extra boost. And the gift here can be seeing your value, showing up just the way you are and offering your gifts. And then midweek, our Pisces moon rises, a mystical um, daydreamy couple of days. Maybe do a bit of journaling. That's when our ideas come up. Our intuition and spidey sense is more active this week also. So before you go to sleep, ask the questions you have on your mind while the Pisces moon and Neptune work their magic. There's a lot of Neptunian energy floating around, which can keep us a bit scattered. And on Thursday, we have a square between Mercury and Mars. Um, disconnects and email communications can come about, along with Mars might be a bit pushy with messages. When we use our intuition, and remember, it's really not about us, that energy might belong to someone else. And just let it go, it's helpful. I use a smudging spray more often during these times, as it will come in handy as the week progresses. And on Friday, the moon moves into Aries. Aries is independent and is enthusiastic and pushes us to tie a bow on some of our projects as he's ready for the next shiny thing. And then Saturday, the moon is full in Aries. Full moon brings things to completion, even if it's just a phase in a relationship or project. And Aries likes to celebrate. And since the moon is conjunct Uranus, Uranus is unpredictable. So be prepared for the unexpected. Uranus votes for change, and Aries has a forceful nature. Both of these two have strong energy. So when they're in agreement, it can be a good thing. But when they're not, step aside, step aside. And then Pluto gets involved in this party, which is also a bit tricky. He can be heavy-handed and pushy with his demands. And Aries is not having any of this. All of this can play out in relationships of all kinds, love, friendships, partnerships, and our relationships to our beliefs. It's a good time to review our limiting beliefs so we can see what blocks us and then turn them on their head as unlimited beliefs and potentials. That can mean being determined, standing strong, and being a beacon of light for what we believe and release anything that no longer is working in harmony with our divine plan. Then later on Sunday, our Taurus moon can ground our energy and gives us time to luxuriate in the things that bring us joy. And for this week's reading, I'm using the mysterious and curious Cat's Eye Tarot. And it's published by U.S. Games and it's by Deborah M. Given, who is a doctor of veterinary medicine. And in her deck, Deborah uses the brown tabbies for pentacles, the sweet black and whites for cups, the talkative Siamese for swords, and our favorite flashy red tabbies for wands. Cats can be our spiritual guides. They're intuitive, mysterious, curious, pick up on body language, and they're often perceived as psychic. We can learn to read their moods, how they hold their ears, tail, their behaviors, so they are perfect teachers as they remind us to pay attention to the visible and the invisible and notice all the energy around us. So let's get started to see what messages they have for us this week. And at the beginning of the week, the Seven of Cups comes out. And this striking black and white 
um, cat is transfixed with an aquarium of fish swimming on the television. Cups, the element of water, emotions, feelings. And here this kitty looks on, maybe with wishful thinking, dreaming of his opportunities or options. As with us, everything starts with a dream, a longing, a desire. But we can become addicted to the dream, and that doesn't move us forward. Instead, we look for the opportunity or the next right action we take. We might take some time to meditate, to hear our muse, and then write out our thoughts and ideas on paper, receiving those divine downloads. And the astrology for this card is Venus in Scorpio, putting our passion into action. And then midweek, the page of pentacles appears and something new is on the horizon. This sweet brown tabby is learning to make her way in the world. And um, she's filled with hope, trust, and potential. Her practical nature helps her explore all her future possibilities. She is building her confidence, curious as to what's around the corner. And one of the messages she brings to us is to trust in the possibilities. Be curious. Take practical action as we move from the dream of the Seven of Cups to bringing it into reality. Just as this kitty is practicing her hunting and pouncing skills, we too may have to try a different approach or approaches and practice to get it right. We learn from other, <coughs> excuse me, others and find our own way and technique. So with determination, our longings will be reality. So don't be afraid to try something new. And then at the end of the week, this beautiful high priestess comes out. And this exquisite white cat sits in the window where the full moon is rising, um, where there is a wind blowing, parting the curtain. She looks back at us, inviting us to explore our present moment awareness or be open to look at something that may be blocking or troubling us. Slip a moment in time. Listen to the messages you receive. The High Priestess comes up at the same time as our full moon, and that's her astrological association. The moon has a powerful effect on our emotions, and they can be heightened. So we have the opportunity to go deep and explore our feelings with greater ease. She reflects the light within us. So for this full moon, dance on the edge of mystery. And that quotes by Alan Cohen. And our blessing card for our week is the Empress. And she literally fell out of the deck when I was shuffling. So I put her aside as our last card or message for the week. And um, the blessing with this card, this Empress, represents to me the ultimate empress, Julia Childs. And she said, life is the proper binge. And that, my friends, are the vibes for the week. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I invite you to click on the like and subscribe buttons if you've enjoyed this video and share with your friends. And I've included a link in the About section for the Cat's Eye Tarot, published by U.S. Games, and a link to my website, maggiemoontarot.com, in case you'd like to contact me or schedule a session. And you can also subscribe to my blogs on my website, which includes my weekly videos and so much more. So until we meet again next week, laugh often, love much, create your own happiness, be kind, believe in miracles and magic, support each other, and I made it through. <laughs> Namaste.